Okay, uh, new acquisition is I bought this Ford Flathead from a friend of mine, and I'll show you a picture in a minute that'll really impress you. But this thing, uh, he bought a Bonneville, a 29 Model A car, and it had this engine in it. And it, I'm gonna make a number up, it ran 125 miles an hour, which is a big deal for a Flathead. Well, that wasn't fast enough for him, so he pulled the motor out. He went to Bonneville once, pulled this motor out. The next year he had a new motor built and set uh, a record at Bonneville, a number of records. And Emil, I was showing somebody this the other day. Just by chance, I found this book, and this is the 1999 Rules for Bonneville. And he's in there, uh, his name, Bill Wren. And Bill set a lot of record, or set records here. At Maxton, he owned a place up there because you can take a Model A, uh, you can take the fenders off, it becomes a different car. You can put another carburetor on, it becomes a different car. So you can race in a number of categories. So he would just change it a little bit and race. He pulled this motor out. It's set since 2000, so that's 22 years under his workbench. And he asked me if I wanted to buy it, and I said, yeah, I'll buy it. He brought it over, and really some unique stuff for a flathead. It's got uh, timing arcs, the plastic you put on the uh, balancer, which nobody does that to the flathead. Then these deals here, this is where the water pumps used to go. There were two of them. And uh, I've acquired a new water pump for this. And this is this is the new water pump, and you can see that's the way it's built that way, and that's the way it's built that way. I learned a valuable lesson when I was 14, 15 years old. The first car I ever built, I got a flathead and put it in a 40 Ford, and it was a 53 Mercury. Well, the problem was the 53 Mercury, I think it was, I forget what year Ford did it too. Instead of having this type motor mount that comes out to the side, it had one that went down this way and the other one went that way. And that was the motor mount for it. And I had the one that went this way. So I had to order this was probably in 64, 63 or four. Two water pumps like this, they came on Mercury's, early model Mercury's, and they came on trucks. I had to order two, and this 64, the two of them was 80 bucks. It broke me. I'd worked all summer uh, in a horse stable, cleaning horse stalls. It cost me $40 for the car and $40 a piece for these things. In 64, that car was only, uh, the 44, well, it was 20, would that make it 24 years old? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Advanced Auto Parts got a lot of parts back 22 years, 24 <laughs> years old. So I uh, figured that out, and that's how I, when I talked to people, I said, did you put that motor in there? Oh, yeah, I did that. I said, did you use the Mercury truck or the Ford motor mounts? And you can see water pumps, see their face. I don't know. So you didn't put it in is what you've just told me. Uh, so it's kind of little things over the years that I've learned like that. Just being able to talk to people. So the next thing about this motor, they pull the water pumps off and they block this off. And they don't want a lot of water. They want the hot motor to run hot. So this is the return this is the inlet and comes through this. Well, they block these off. Then you see the hose that ran in here. This comes in or this side comes in and it comes out the other side on the top of the head. That way you make sure you got water flow. So this thing, you can't see them down in there. We haven't got enough light. But the guy, whoever built the motor, it's got adjustable uh, lifters which is really high tech 22 years ago 
and uh, the motor is, I can't turn it, I used to turn it over by hand, I can't no more. Um, flatheads like this one, but uh, it's got truck heads on it, which seems to be a big deal. I couldn't tell you whether it is or not, but they, he seemed to think that was a big deal. And I had bought this 2-2 intake and I just set it up on here. I don't know what I'm going to put on it, but... Uh, it looks pretty good with the two twos. Oh, it does. It's a neat looking motor. But I got also got a 3-2 for it. And I make a 4-2 and... Uh, what are you going to do with it? With this? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I thought about it and, oh man, I caught some static. I just mentioned it to somebody. I said, yeah, I'm thinking about putting this in that MG that I got out back. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be different? It'd be different, yeah, yeah right. I, uh, I saw a guy one time at Daytona had a um, Pinto station wagon, had on the windshield, this is the way they should have built Pintos, and the hood was up, he walked over there, he had a flathead in it. He was a real old timer, but they're good engines. Yeah. They run good. Yeah. Just, I'll put it in something that will surprise you. Neat. Okay.